Hello dear VTU students, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing well. You are watching Motionally 14 where I am providing passing packages and important lectures for the VTU students. So tomorrow you have the makeup examinations for your mathematics subject either for the CSE stream students and EEE and EC stream students. Okay, so uh, most of the students will be concerning about it and it is the matter of concern for most of the students. If I consider the old schemes also, still students are writing the mathematics backlog subjects. So it is due to their negligence, they are not focusing, they are not practicing for the mathematics. That is why they are getting the backlogs. Okay, so in this video, I will be discussing how to pass the mathematics subject in just one day and one night so if you are the student who, are, who have already completed their mathematics preparation for tomorrow's examination so that is very good that is great so you have to just revise your topics what we have covered so far but if you are the student who have not started their preparation right now so just leave all things aside you have to just focus on 35 marks that is passing or or maybe it may be 36 marks I don't know exactly but most probably it is uh, 35 out of 100 so how to get those 35 marks right if I consider the CSE stream they have to prioritize their modules okay if you have not analyzed it yet so don't worry I'm here I have just analyzed it, which modules are easier ones which you have to focus on first of all try to cover module fifth that is your ANOVA technique in which there are three topics which you have to compulsorily uh, practice that is one way ANOVA two way ANOVA and latin square distribution right so you can easily get 20 marks if you are not having the concept of those ANOVA techniques i have already uploaded my solo videos you can go through video is available on my youtube channel you can go through ANOVA techniques and understand the concepts okay try to solve two two problems only two problems you have to go through and just because you don't have enough time to cover all the portions so better to go through two questions from one way ANOVA two questions from two way ANOVA and two questions from latin square distribution you can easily get uh, 20 marks from that particular module in order to practice you have to go through previous year question papers. just refer to two previous year question papers which i have already uploaded on my instagram account you can get those papers and also link will be available in the description box where you can avail these papers okay only two papers are enough as of now i am telling just because time is not enough if i talk about the next module so that is joint probability distribution first of all try to cover the first basic question from joint probability distribution where you are supposed to calculate the marginal distribution expectation of x expectation of y that is a very simpler topic each and every student can get that particular concept even if you are the average student okay or below average if i am talking about that is very simpler one you can easily get you can easily digest that particular concept in your mind okay so that is uh, one thing from the module second next question is unique fixed probability okay that is also a simpler one you can also uh, visit my video just six to seven minute video is there just try to understand the concept and try to cover two questions from unique fixed probability two two questions are enough to uh, understand the concepts and in the examination data will be somehow different but concept will be same you have to apply that one okay so these are the two questions which you have to take from the module second that is joint probability distribution now coming to the model third which is your statistical inference in which you have to cover some definitions like uh, what is null hypothesis what is level of significance what are type of errors okay type one and type two errors some definitions are there okay which you have to go through definitely we will ask 10 marks question on that particular basis okay so those 10 marks and plus two 20 is from module 5th that is an OR technique compulsorily you have to get 20 marks that is the simpler module from joint probability distribution you should get at least 10 marks okay so 20 plus 10 is 30 marks and from statistical inference you should get 10 marks also that is your 40 marks then coming to the module first okay in which you have to cover compulsorily one or two questions that is uh, variance of binomial distribution and uh, this uh, Poisson's distribution that is mean and variance this is the definite question over there which you will ask in the examination so that is where 40 plus 10 is 50 marks if you are perfectly writing 50 marks for your mathematics subject then I am damn sure you will get the passing marks at least okay you can easily pass the mathematics subject so it is the strategy for CS stream students coming to the dribbly stream students uh, they have to focus they have to prioritize module second that is curve fitting curve fitting is the only module in which students can get at least 15 to 18 marks or sometimes they can easily get 20 marks if they are perfect in their answers okay so curve fitting is the only key module by which triple e students can ace this particular mathematics subject okay so you should not leave any concept from the curve fit through the straight line problem 
parabola problem and power curve okay two two questions uh, also you can refer the previous question papers which i have uploaded on my instagram account okay you can also refer that particular papers and also if you are not having the concepts so you can go through my youtube channel you will get options of this curve fitting over there try to understand the concept and try to solve two to three problems from this particular uh, module over here so this is the curve fitting next so now coming to the model third uh, which is your uh, four year series it is again a passing module in which you have to focus on uh, intervals like minus pi to pi uh, or 0 to pi 0 to 2 pi minus l to l these are the intervals you have to uh, just practice one one problem from each interval in order to understand in order to grab the concept so that you can easily solve the questions uh, whatever the wiki will ask in the examination okay whatever the questions are there whatever the variations in the data over there so you can easily handle that so this is Fourier series and you have to focus on the sine series and cosine series and also very important topic simpler one that is first harmonic Fourier series which is data based you have, which you have to calculate in your CALC scientific calculator over there which in which you can easily get seven marks okay so Fourier series is another key module for the triple E students and also for the EC stream students okay this is the second passing module so next passing module is your probability you should focus on probability also these are the three key modules in order to pass the mathematics subject so similarly for ec stream students they are also having the curve fitting and uh, this probability portion and also they have to go through the ordinary differential equation so these three are the key modules for the ec stream students so better to complete only three modules focusing on those 35 marks okay if you are writing three modules fully if you are writing 60 marks then at least you will get these 35 36 or 38 around okay but your answer should be perfect let me tell you vt is just checking the answers as far as mathematics subject is concerned that is why most of the students what they are doing they are just simply writing the steps they think they have only written the uh, steps in the examination but they lose the marks over there so that is the main problem so your main focus should be on your answers your answer should be perfect over there so that vt evaluators will give you the full marks for the particular question so this is the only strategy otherwise it is not possible for student to cover mathematics subject in just one night so use your time wisely so start the preparation now itself in order to complete two modules at least within evening then from evening itself try to cover another module and uh, in the late night you will just revise the things uh, which you have learned so far in this particular day over there okay so this is all about today's strategy for your mathematics subject so i wish you all the best for your examinations my dear students so i hope this time you will clear your mathematics subject thank you